What? Guys, we are currently living in the best timeline. If you don't know, a couple months ago, it was announced that Xbox was going to be laying off a bunch of the studios that they had acquired, one of them being the beloved Tango Gameworks, which obviously produced Hi-Fi Rush, which was critically acclaimed, uh, the game from last year, and everyone was up in arms about it a couple months ago. I'm still talking about it like semi-regularly on my channel about how much it frustrated me and how much I absolutely loved Hi-Fi Rush. Guys, I had such a busy day today. I had work. I was on my bed just trying to relax i was scrolling on twitter and i see that tango gameworks and hi-fi rush are back in the best possible way so it was just announced that krafton a south korean publisher has taken over tango gameworks and welcomed back all of their employees and they plan on reviving and expanding the hi-fi rush ip which they now own i thought that xbox was going to own the ip but they just swooped in and they took it. And now I guess we're going to be getting Hi-Fi Rush stuff again, which I am, oh my God, I'm, I'm in disbelief. I, I really thought, I did, I did not think that this was possible. I did not think I would be reading this today. I didn't think that I would be reading this ever, frankly, but I guess the outroar and, and outcry of this studio, this beloved studio closing and all of their IPs, and specifically Hi-Fi Rush, again, are just gone. But no. <laughs> no, they're they're back. <laughs> they're back. Uh, this was just posted, so here's the press release, and, and I'll, I'll read it out for you guys. So today, they welcomed the talented people of Tango Gameworks to their team, uh, marking an exciting moment in the company's global expansion and its first significant investment in the Japanese video game market. This strategic move will include the rights to Tango Gameworks acclaimed IP, IP Hi-Fi Rush. So, founded in 2010, they quickly established themselves as a leading development studio, renowned for creating the critically acclaimed Hi-Fi Rush, along with The Evil Within's 1 and 2, and Ghostwire Tokyo, and they became a part of Xbox when ZeniMax was acquired by Xbox in 2021. And then it goes on to talk about Hi-Fi Rush being uh, the flagship title for Tango Gameworks now, with their rhythmic action combat uh, being critically acclaimed, having overwhelmingly positive, positive feedback, and then winning a bunch of awards and getting the recognition that it absolutely deserves, by the way. Way. And as part of this strategic agreement, Krafton intends to collaborate with Xbox and ZeniMax to ensure a smooth transition and maintain continuity at Tango Gameworks, allowing the talented team to continue developing the Hi-Fi Rush IP and explore future projects. They intend to support the Tango Gameworks team to continue its commitment to, to innovation and delivering fresh and exciting experiences for fans. There will be no impact on the existing game catalog of the Evil Within, Evil Within 2, Ghostwire Tokyo, and the original Hi-Fi Rush game, and they will remain available everywhere they are available today. So this integration reinforces Krafton's dedication to expanding its global footprint and enhancing its portfolio with innovative and high-quality content. The addition of Tango Gameworks represents a strategic alignment with Krafton's mission to push the boundaries of interactive entertainment. Well, well done. <laughs> well, well done, Crafton. Well done. I did not think that, that this was possible. So, so from my understanding, I'm not like a news guy. You guys know me. I don't, I don't do this news thing. I, I don't really do it unless it's something that I'm very passionate about. And Hi-Fi Rush is something that I am clearly passionate about. But it seems that Crafton, or maybe even Xbox, I don't really know. They, they knew how big of a deal Hi-Fi Rush actually was and how big of a deal this studio closure actually was. And they they did something about it. And and they now are acquiring Tango Gameworks and Hi-Fi Rush. That's... Guys. <laughs> guys. I, I would not think in a million years some, something like this would happen. I honestly... I thought that was it. I, I thought that after... After Xbox shut Tango down, I, I thought that was it. I thought that everyone would have to move on, f like fund a new company and, and essentially start from, from scratch. And I, I, if you couldn't tell, I am in such disbelief. I, I'm stumbling over my words right now. I, I can't. This is this is crazy. I, I did not think that I was going to be reading this today, that Tango Gameworks was saved. So and, and here's the thing. So I don't really know a whole lot about this company. Um, Crafton is apparently the publisher of PUBG. That is something that I just saw by clicking on this article. But yeah, two months after Tango's closure, Crafton stepped in to take over. And it seems Microsoft has cooperated in the integration process and pledged the support 
the studio staff and resuming their work at the new company. So it, it makes me wonder if Krafton had to outright buy Tango Gameworks from Microsoft and Xbox, or if Xbox just said, you know what, here you go. Like, we don't need them anymore. F free reigns. I really, I really hope it's the latter because then that means that Krafton got an amazing studio and their IP for free. That probably didn't happen. I just, I just don't. I'm still pissed at Microsoft. <laughs> Frankly, that's where I'm at right now. Okay, and it says right here, in taking over the business, Krafton also took over the rights to the Hi-Fi Rush IP from Microsoft, which plans to expand through future projects. And however, these organizational changes are not expected to bring any changes to the existing Hi-Fi Rush Evil within or Ghostwire Tokyo, which are part of Microsoft's catalog. So it makes me wonder, they don't own Hi-Fi Rush Evil Within and Ghostwire Tokyo as they are right now because it's under Microsoft. So they probably don't own the original Hi-Fi Rush and Evil Within or Ghostwire Tokyo. Again, that's just kind of what I'm assuming just from reading this. If I'm completely incorrect, please let me know in the comments. But it seems that they're taking over the Hi-Fi Rush IP from Microsoft. So they're good to go to make any future games and expand on the world, which I, yeah, give me more Hi-Fi Rush. And I'll be I'll be completely honest. Um, good. I'm glad that somebody stepped in and did this. In an age where we were already getting studio closures and layoffs and all that jazz, this was this was something that I feel like resonated with a lot of people. And seeing the aftermath, even my after my original video, it a lot of people took note of this. Everyone was talking about it, and even now, people still reference that this happened, that this is a huge blemish on Microsoft and Xbox's part. And like I said in my last video, I've been sticking true to my word. I haven't bought any Microsoft products. I haven't really promoted anything Microsoft-related as, as far as I know of. I'll talk like vaguely about like Blade or shit like that, but I just... I don't want to support this company because I did this to Tango Gameworks. As long as this transition is smooth, that's all I'm really hoping for. I'm hoping that the transition goes well, that we get more high fi Rush content, and that the folks at Tango Gameworks get to keep their jobs, which according to this, they do, which is fucking awesome. And this is all the information that we have currently. I just wanted to get up on here and talk about it because I made the original video and I've been making Hi-Fi Rush content since the game came out. And I love this series. I love this franchise. And even playing some of Tango's other games, I really like their studio and I would like to continue to play their games like Evil Within 2 and then maybe even give Ghostwire Tokyo a chance. But like I said, I just wanted to come on here and just let you guys know that this happens. And, um, that's pretty much all I have. I guess we're going to get more information in the coming weeks, most likely, I'm assuming. Um, but this is just a breaking story. I saw it immediately, and I wanted to give it to you guys as fast as possible. So let me know what you think of this news in the comments down below. And as always, if you like what you see and you want to see more from me, especially the Hi-Fi Rush content, don't forget to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button to see more. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you all are having a great evening, and I will see you guys next time. Hi-Fi Rush is back!